All right, you guys, finally, 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 the day has come. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna break down my setup. And keep in mind, all of this is listed down in the description below. So anything that you wanna check out, it's right there. All right, so let's start with the symbols. Um, the splash I'm using is a, I believe it was, let's see. Yep, eight inch dark energy splash. All of this is Piesty. If you guys don't know, I'm endorsed by Piesty. Shout out to Piesty. This is my favorite symbol so far out of every one of these. This is my favorite right here. The extra thin 18 inch Piesty Masters. I gotta get more of these. Like the way these feel when you hit them and just the sound is just beautiful, beautiful. And uh, yeah, actually, let me, I'll even give you guys a sound, hopefully, the mic from this GoPro can pick it up good enough and you know, yeah. So here's the splash. Here's that beautiful thin crack. Ugh. Ugh. I love this one. I love it. All right. So this one is the Dark Crash Peisty Masters 17 inch. I like this one, but sometimes it uh, I don't really like the attack on it, especially when I'm hitting them harder, cause they kind of like uh, they, they kind of hurt. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, but uh, they still sound real good. They still sound good. Uh, let's go with this beautiful stack. All right, so this stack right here is the PSFX. This is a 10 inch by eight splash stack. And uh, yeah, I like to use this one, like tighten it real tight. Um, sometimes I use it, sometimes I use it with that sound, but I like more of that quick attack that's on it. That's why I tighten these up. Matter of fact, let's move on to this one. This is the uh, legendary uh, switch stack. This is a 14 inch. I tighten this one up really tight too, just to get that quick attack. This how it sounds a little loose. Even more loose. Right? But I just I just like the tighten all of these up. Yep. Next we have the ride. Now this is a dark crash ride by the uh, the Piesty Master Series 2. And if you guys are interested in the Crash ride, I recommend this one. But um, I'm noticing that I actually need to get me a normal ride as well. Because you notice I have the overheads a little closer because when I use the bell, like the camera's gonna pick it up. But my mics, my overhead mics have a hard time picking up when I use the bell. That's why I have them closer, but I'm pretty sure that it'll pick up the bell on a regular ride way better. So yeah, but I recommend this. If you're looking for a crash ride, this one's dope. Now, <laughs> this one right here, man, the 18 inch um, Swiss medium stat, uh, crash. This one has the craziest attack, especially in the mix. Like, I love this one. I love this one. This this is one of my favorite ones also. So like it, it ran between the thin and this one. Like man, just crazy. I'm using Remo pinstripe clear heads on all of my drums, all right? I'm using an eight, 10, 12, 14, and a 16 here. And yeah, I'm loving the sound of these drums. These drums are a PDP um, Maple, and also shout out to Sweetwater, you know, that yeah, this is where I got it from. Like they've been hooking me up with some some great stuff, great deals, it's, it's been just crazy. I'm using a, 
uh, Iron Cobra 600 uh, for the kick. Now, when it comes to the drum head for my bass drum, I I I, I said this in a previous video. I'm using the Aquarian Super Kick at the moment, but I absolutely love how my Power Stroke head sound on this. So I actually don't have it now, but I definitely got to get another one because that that drum head was crazy, crazy. The kick drum is a 21 inch as well, and yeah. My mics, I'm mic'd up with all SM57s, sure mics. Doing this has changed everything. Like uh, I went to a music store and they recommended for me to mic all my drums with SM57s. I've been loving it. Now it is a hassle though of where you wanna place your cymbals cause sometimes the mics can get in the way. But other than that, man, beautiful, beautiful. I have a Gibraltar rack that I got from Sweetwater that's been, that helped orchestrate this whole setup. I'm loving how it's looking, how it feels. It's great. Now for my hi-hat, I'm using the heavy hi-hat, the blue color sound from Pisces. This is dope. I'm loving this. It's just the heaviness of the hi-hat, my stand can't really take it. So sometimes when I'm doing this, it'll get loose like crazy like that's why in most covers you see me always adjusting this i hat because the stand can't it can't take this <laughs> this i hat but yeah man this is this is it also some dope cowbells i added another one on here yep uh let's see what else here my lights, these are tube lights. Shout out to Quasi um, for actually letting me know what lights he had got. These are tube lights from Amazon. I'll have those linked down in the description below. Also, also that little square light right here, that's a light from Amazon. What am I missing? I think that's, okay. And also the GoPros that I'm using at the moment, I'm just using the one that you see here. It's the GoPro 7 Black. I highly recommend that one over the silvers that I had got because I also have four more GoPro 7 Silver. I don't really like those because you can't really adjust the video quality. Most of that stuff is already like set. And uh, yeah, I, I, don't, I highly recommend if you're going to get a GoPro, get the 7 Black. And yeah, that's about it. That is my whole setup. I'm recording with a Tascam US 1800 interface. I have to upgrade that. I've had that since we hit 5,000 subscribers. So yeah, that one, man. Nah. I record out of Pro Tools and I use Slate Digital Plugins. That has changed my mix completely as well. When it comes to miking with these mics and then just Ugh, mixing with Pro Tools and the Slate Digital, that, man, that has changed. That changed everything. My overheads, hmm, my overheads is a M5 Rode mics. That's what these are. And, yeah, also, I'm using Sennheiser. I made a video on the Sennheisers. I'm using their 100 Pros. I'm getting some good quality out of them. I'm really enjoying them. And, yeah, that's it. That is it for my whole setup breakdown. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you're interested, once again, in any of this stuff, they'll be listed down in the description below. And yeah, stay tuned for some crazy covers coming soon. I got some crazy ideas. I had also asked you guys in my community tab, what are some things you want to see on the channel? And you guys have given some great ideas. Be on the lookout for a lot of that stuff. And yeah, that is it. That's it. Yep. This is the full setup. <laughs>